I'm not understanding what the fuck is so funny about men being in abusive relationships uh, uh, with narcissists and all that shit for years. And why the fuck are women coming out their mouths talking about, oh, why didn't you leave her? Like, you're pussy. How are you going to let a girl hit you? How are you going to let a girl abuse you? You sound so ignorant. Mm. Women are narcissists, too. Women yep. are abusive, too. Women will hit you. Women will mentally fuck you up, make you feel like you're trapped, like you have nowhere to go, like you're the only thing in his life and that's it. There's no one else for him. I've seen plenty of men put up with relationships for years and feel like they have nowhere to go. And the woman is trash. We already know who wears the pants in that relationship. You feel me? Didn't Jeanette McCurdy explain women will know you deeply and then hurt you? How is it not clicking? Whoever laughs at that shit, I hope you have a son one day. Seriously. Now, before I get into my rant, my followers and other people are always tagging me and DMing me, telling me, check this girl out, check this girl out. This Riri, this my homegirl. I'm already knowing who this is. So with that being said, y'all got to understand, us women that want to advocate for men and care about men, trust me, we locked in already, baby. So tag me in, baby. Tag me in, girl. She is so beautiful, you guys. Like, have you seen her face? Goddamn. Okay, going off topic, back to the video. I'm not understanding why people think abuse is a joke. It's not funny by any means, you guys. Even when you're in it, you should understand psychologically what that does to your brain and how fucked up it makes you. And trust me, I'm a domestic violence fucking um, survivor. So when I tell you guys, I know exactly how this shit goes down. Please, ladies, if you can, refrain from saying fucked up words. Stay away from people until you heal. If you hate your life, you hate yourself. Stay away from people. We all have issues. We all have inner demons. Work those things out because the last thing you want to do is harm a man that does not deserve it. And there's a lot of men right now who are offing themselves and we don't need any more men deleting themselves for you putting your hands on him constantly or bad mouthing him or always bringing up his past or making fun of his fun dip size. All those things are fucking abuse. And if you think you're a good girlfriend doing that or a good partner, dude, go take a hike and don't come back because literally that is the sickest thing you could ever do to somebody. How can you call that love? You know right from wrong. So do right. Do right by the person you want to be with. Women all the time want to talk about men don't treat us right. Men don't this, men don't that. But from somebody who counsels men, trust me, ladies, you guys are not safe by any means. Y'all do just as bad damage. And women are lethal with words. I know I'm one. We're lethal with our words. We'll hit you where it hurts. But just because he doesn't harm you physically or things like that doesn't mean he's not hurting. So you shouldn't keep harming him because he's not going to put his hands on you. Women know exactly what they're doing. They'll antagonize and antagonize. But what's the point of that? Stay away from men if you hate them. It's disgusting. And don't think I forgot about this part. I was about to end the video. And I just remembered, women in today's generation point the finger at men and call men narcissistic every single time. But you know what I'm starting to realize? And as I've been getting older, the more and more I've learned, it isn't even men, it's women. And I'm not saying all women are bad. It's just a lot of you guys, especially the ones on these platforms, y'all are shouting from the rooftops and all you guys are doing is proving more and more you guys are narcissistic. You be little men. You guys have this idea that you're a 10, which narcissistic think it's all about them. You guys don't apologize, no accountability, and you're never sorry. Narcissistic. And you also believe in zodiac signs. I'm going to be honest with you. You might not even want to hear this. Please Google the statistics about this. They say people that believe in zodiac signs have a lower IQ and tend to be more narcissistic. So have fun with that information. You can literally look up the stats. Marvin from Fresh and Fit made a video about it. So like I said, ladies in this generation... If you don't apologize, you don't know how to be an adult about things, I, I wouldn't even be around you. Men, if you were around a woman and she can't even apologize in a relationship, I wouldn't even be with her. How dare somebody sit there and point the finger constantly at you, gaslight you all the time, but they've never said an apology. So you think you're right this whole time? Mm, funny. Like I said, men, the more and more you guys sit here and allow this behavior, the more and more women like this are going to keep doing it. And I'm not blaming you guys at all, but just leave these women in the dust. You see somebody not treating you right and not loving you, you need to leave because there's going to be somebody else who will. There's no point of being in a relationship where you're going to get used and abused please understand this and i don't think a lot of people get this the more and more you stay with a toxic person the more they take from you so that means it's going to take you longer to heal and you're going to have a longer recovery rate for that so i promise you now it's better to leave before you are so consumed in that it is so toxic they took everything you've got and like i said i care about your well-being i care about your mental health so let's have let's make 
2023 about happiness, about you and about you putting yourself first. You're the priority. If you, God, and your job don't come first before your girlfriend, your shit is not correct. I'm sorry. And if you don't believe in God, don't want to disrespect you, whatever you believe in, but you come first. Remember that.